Okay, uh, it is June uh, 3rd, 2019, Public Access Committee meeting. That is uh, the present is Andrew Houston and uh, Anton Stewart. Yeah, that mean me. at, at, at the moment, that is all of us. There is but the three of us. <laughs> so uh, I did, did uh, fire out an email to um, say, could, could you let me know if you're coming or not coming? Kevin did write and say, yeah. I, I, unless plans change and something comes up unexpectedly, I'll see you there. But I think something unexpected must have come up. Um, I heard nothing from Dan. I've never heard anything from Dan. Uh, and I got a note from Don um, saying that he's in Oregon and apologizes that he can't be with us tonight. Um, which I suppose is a bit of a, a long stretch to get from Oregon, but there you go. So, um, can we actually approve the minutes then? Is there enough of Well, this? let's see, who was here last time? <laughs> um, so, you, me, and Don. And you, I sent them out by email. And I responded. And, and so, I, I just changed um, what you suggested, I changed. All right. And I added in something about the uh, SUNY New Pulse video. I mean, these are the... Yeah, it was just the one outstanding query, as I understand it, regarding the technical, and I don't know if Don... Um, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll you about that. I did reply to Oh, yeah. Did I, what, what, did, I get, did I change that correctly, or did I not change it? I think... Technical uh, issues. I think... Uh, let me see. Uh, Uh, yeah, it just said the AB switch for the may be faulty and will be replaced if it is faulty. Okay, right, but we right, don't right. know yet. Okay. So we're good. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I think they're okay if, if you guys don't see. Uh, the you know, well, we, we went through the motions anyway, so yeah. Um, yeah. I know sometimes right. we all have busy lives and stuff, but there, there tends to be a bit of satellite delay. Oh, this is great. Thanks all right, very good. Much. I'll send them. You know, one thing about having minutes is it does help you look back and see what you. Talked about. Talked about. Without having to go to the video and take it. <laughs> Listen <laughs> to it again. We'll do the replay. So, first item on the agenda then is to read and approve minutes from the last meeting. So, because these were the ones right. that were on before. So, you want me to read them again? Can you, can. Approve, can you approve them? With I, thought, I thought those were the ones that we did by email were the ones that for the Yeah, meeting. I just updated them. Oh! So, yeah. Oh, right. So, so, so we've done that then. So we, we, don't, really we don't need to read them. <laughs> so we're really okay. We are really, really up to date then. Yeah, oh, really. stunning. Brilliant. Okay. Marvelous. Good. So, item two, PA coordinators report. Okay. Uh, technical, we haven't had any big issues, you know, missed meetings or anything like that. Not recorded. Um, but we did uh, have some complaints from viewers on Channel 23 about the town board planning board meeting from last month, last the, two, I think. The town? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and they were in the, uh, where were they meeting? In the community, the community center? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hi. Hey. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. Okay. Well, it's all good. Just, it's all good. How are you doing? Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. 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 Okay. Just to bring you up to speed, um, we've already done item one, so that's sorted. They're all done. Um, so, we're just on the PA TV coordinators report right now. Yeah, the te technical issue we were having is intermittent, it seems, from some viewers, which is, sounds very familiar. We've gone through this many times where some, some nodes on the time of the train do not do as well as other nodes. Uh, but I watched it last last time and I was talking to Dan and everything seemed okay except we're noticing there is an interference in channel on channel two audio channel two and really switched there was just like a buzzing okay yeah it would come on right. and then come off and very intermittent. Did, was that a legacy from where the uh, the cable got pulled out, uh, out of the I was market? starting to think about that and said because that 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 was you had that issue, didn't you, when the, yeah. the table collapsed? I mean, is there uh -huh. 
Is it worth just checking that? that yeah, that's what I was thinking of maybe replacing the RCA cable. Yeah, I mean, I if, it, if, there's a, if there's a, you know, if there's a, a, a gain issue going yeah. to the modulator or something like that, maybe maybe that's it. Because, I, I yeah, the, the, I know the um, Spectrum are working on replacing a lot of the cable infrastructure at the moment, or their contractors are. I've seen yeah. all sorts of people pulling fiber all over the place. But um, so there are some things that obviously need to be maintained, but. Um, but if it's if it's a just a segment of viewers here and everybody else is cool, then that tends not to indicate the problems at our end, unless you know it's just that that threshold of the signal, the gain is just perhaps just a little down. Or well, down. having the interference on the one channel also makes me think there's something there's something going on. Well, um, get your get your soldering iron out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get it fixed. And I forgot to, I have found a table, I just have to get it over there. Oh, and, you did. You well, it's my wife decided, she collects some um, furniture like some people collect cats. Yeah, so, okay. so, so she said, we got to get rid of this table. Oh, okay. Oh, God. I love it. All right. <laughs> Fortunately, she's not watching this. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> Shows, um, I just happened to run into this student who's moved into a house nearby us uh, and we just started talking and he just did um, uh, a documentary on Ludwig for, yeah, I don't know if you guys are familiar, Ludwig Montessa, yeah, and it was very good and um, so I asked him. It's a new me. documentary? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did you talk to his parents like about this? No, no, closing? no, it was more all about Ludwig. Just a minute, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. And it was, it was well done. Hmm. Um, cool. <clears throat> then we got a Walk Hill River Alliance Summit from 2019 from Don. And seriously local episode on Justin Taylor, who's a local. He runs the Sloop Beer Brewery. Uh, that's from um, Mocum uh, Productions with uh, Robert Gertler. Oh, and, and they're called Seriously Local, that's what his sh yeah, his shows, series is yeah. called, his show? Yeah, so he's done one on Manny's, he's done one on The Gilded Otter, I'm trying to think of the other ones he's done. Um, and I pulled a, um, a recent uh, presentation by SUNY Newpoltz, it was now a long show, and the March of the Machines about AI, and locals came up and talked about it. And we got four new Volt, Music Vault episodes from Don, and just one new Bolt. Cool. That's, that's about it. Cool. That's one. Um, brings us to item three then. Um, sadly, he's not with us tonight. He's in Oregon. But um, I, I'd just like to um, formally make a note, if we can, how much we've appreciated his service. Uh, Obviously, he was unsuccessful in his uh, re-election attempt. So uh, one would imagine that tonight would have been the last time we would have seen him at a meeting anyway, because right. I don't know when it, it, the reorganization takes place. But um, I'd just like to say it's, it's been a pleasure having um, Dom with us. And uh, certainly, he, it strikes me as somebody who's always been very passionate about public access TV. and. Uh, certainly has not been afraid to, to take up the challenge where necessary and uh, deserves, I think, to be recognized for that. Well, we're hoping um, maybe he'll come on the committee as a voting member. That, that would be wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I didn't to formally ask him. Like, should I send him a text? <laughs> um, so we should have a new liaison, like, by next month. Yeah. So yeah, well, it's going to be going to be somebody. So I've no idea who yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah, that's great. Isn't it a rotating thing until Don came? Sort of, it became clear that Don was the, sort of had the past uh, history with the. Yeah, he and isn't it usually something that just rotates. I around? think there was going to be a reorganization, but he was um, he, he asked if he could hang on to the liaison right. uh, last time. Yeah. Well, which was sent. I think if they have a, a preference, they can voice it, and then. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, um, that's. Well, 
that's what I just like to. <laughs> I move that we recognise him in some thank way, you. you know, in the in the minutes, and Great. and thank him for his service. Yeah. Thank you, Don. All right. Um, well, we can go no further with Second. item four then. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, all in favour? Aye. 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 So moved. Thank you. All right. Um, item four, uh, discussion of Village's offer of office studio space at Village Hall. Any further progress? All I can tell you is that I now know that we've received written permission, um, which I believe you were copied on in the thread as well, um, that the Village administration have put it by their lawyer and they're quite happy for um, the not-for-profit to have that address, uh, 25 Blackhill Avenue, so there's, there's not an issue there. Um, so we can go ahead, but at the moment I actually fired out an email and said, could you let me know if it's something you know, you'd like to do or you'd sooner sort of pull teeth from a crocodile, and I'll understand if you don't want to play. Um, so far, um, apart from myself, we have one volunteer. <laughs> so I'm not gonna put pressure on anybody, but for... We need a minimum of four directors to form the non-profit. Now, I thought we, didn't we say that we would do that as a... Well, I haven't, I, yeah, we, we said, we talked about it that we might, oh. but uh, um, I mean, I, I, I can't force anybody to volunteer. I mean, well, certainly well, I, I said I would volunteer. Okay, so Bob volunteered. Mm -hmm. Yep, me. Oh. And would you like to volunteer? I thought, yeah. Okay. I thought we did that at the meeting. Huh? Uh, and then we were hoping that Don minutes, might yeah. be the fourth person because I was not volunteering. <laughs> Understood. So we'll have to ask Don. Well, I'll give him a call, maybe, and ask him. Well, if you can. But I mean, again, this is—it's not meant to be a rod for anybody's back. I mean, once the, the not-for-profit has got its articles of association together, and you know who what typical directors there would be serving what positions, then there would be people obviously apply for that. And if you if you simply don't want to do it, don't run for election, you know, and at that point, you know, be replaced. And I guess it will work on like the village administration does with the four year term, but you know, staggered elections. But it's not contingent on being on this committee, right? No, not at all, not at all. Wouldn't, wouldn't need to be at all. But I mean, my understanding is that the, um, the not-for-profit would be largely accountable to this committee for, for um, you know, operation of the channel if, if the, this committee still continues to exist. I mean, we may not need this committee eventually, but I don't know. It's, we don't know. But, but you know, so, so you, you just preserve the status quo, don't you? Well, things right. until something changes, yeah, kind of thing. Right. So uh, that's, that's except it. we can probably get donations from China across salary and stuff. That would be lovely, wouldn't mm -hmm. it? <laughs> China, <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> run our shows. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Ah, so yeah, I mean, the, I, I envisage there probably being at least one salary position because the station manager would probably become. You know, if, if not a full-time job, but a, a job that would occupy a lot of time. So it probably would need a salary position. And hmm. everybody else would be interns or volunteers or other kind of fun stuff, you know. But um, yeah, that's, that's something to thrash out. So so you, you're happy to volunteer yeah. as a director? Oh, I thought All right. I no, no, that's perfect. That um, before, I will fire you an email then, because I'm going to need, um, what do I, I think I need your address. I think I need to know where you live. So yeah, give me, uh, I'll fire you an email and you can give me all your relevant details because we've got on here. Yeah. Just, yeah, just need uh, your full name and address, that's it. Now we have to get everything notarized. I'm a notary, but I, I can't notarize this because I'm involved. <laughs> so, but I'm sure there's plenty of notaries in. All right. Um, I've no idea when the, the studio space is going to be available. Um, I was hoping Don might have some insight onto that. There's my understanding is they've got a, a, I don't know whether somebody from Public Works is in there or whatever at the Planning, moment. I thought it was the planner. Are the planners in there? I thought they eliminated that position. I did too, but maybe it's a No, group. it's somebody from the DPW is okay. in there. Right. Oh. 
Yeah. Okay. I don't so um, I'll uh, I'll fire Mayor Rogers an email then and ask if he's got an indication on timeline as to when that would be available. Uh, but certainly, if we can find the fourth one, we can get the not non-profit rolling. Um, and we yeah, can wonder what's going to happen to all the space when the fire department removes itself. Well, that's several years off, isn't it? I don't. Know. I imagine if, and this is conjecture. Everything's and, uh, moving. Everything's mm -hmm. leaving. Everything's well, leaving here. I no, think. No, they're building the a not, They're building a second building next to the fire station. It's going to be for police and the courts. Yeah. On but, North Putt. But not the village government. No, I'm I, sorry. Everyone else. Yeah. Right. I think this and will the, become the municipal centre. Yeah. For both. They need to really knock it down and start over the But anyway, when this will all happen. <laughs> <laughs> what? This building? This yes. location, not this building necessarily. Uh -huh. This. Yeah, this building site. is not a good building. There, there are I love some. It's it's pleasant. <laughs> except it has some except for the sign saying "Watch your head." You know, I, I think, I think they have well, that's heating it down there. That's not really heating it, cooling yeah, it. Exactly. But I think there's been a lot of TDI due to these the way this thing has been set up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and downstairs, I mean, you, you can't even get else. from like one building to the other. It's like yeah. to go outside. Accessibility is a problem. You know, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> hey, that's the oh well, okay, so that's, uh, that's, so I will um, write to Mayor Rogers then and ask him if, uh, like, note to self might be a good idea here. Ask him when that uh, space that he showed us will be available. And, um, I'll also reach out to Don directly and personally um, because I think he'd be an asset for this committee. I also think he would be uh, an asset for the uh, not-for-profit, but I don't know what his workload's like. I mean, well, it's a lot less than. There you go. <laughs> it is. I like that. Sense of optimism. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Um, so we've done. We've done five then. Um, any other business from anybody? It's going to be like a mentally short meeting. If you ever heard from, like, the woman who's doing the, the new film? shorts. No, oh, yeah. I Nothing need, yet? Yeah. Do you want to follow up? I need to follow again? up on that. And it, it, is it Robert Gertler, as in, like, the G Gertlers? R like, yeah, the they're, Angelosi Gertler? Yeah, I think they're the local family. Okay, because yes. I spelled this name. Is that the one that Bruce Stevens and Lindsay Stevens were narrating? Or yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. That's great. All right. Well, anyway, he's given us another show. And then I think so it was Allison cool. Ferrara that you were talking yeah. about. Yeah. And then Allison, there was some yeah. other guy, right, that you ran into, Richard Jimbos or something? Yes. And I have set up um, a filming. F he does, doesn't film, but he wants to produce something. So mm -hmm. I'm going to help him do something okay. for his thing. Hopefully, this Friday. Have you, um, slight side thing here, have you ever come across a, a, an online resource called Shooting People? Um, it's, yeah. it's like, you yeah. can put like projects on there and all that sort of stuff where, you know, people might want to volunteer or get involved and like up and coming filmmakers or sound recorders. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's not like Fiverr, it's you know, more of a volunteer. Yeah, thing. exactly. It's, it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of cool. So, so What's it called? Sh shooting people. Shooting I think people. shooting people. Yeah. Actually, I think it's the... Uh, Is it uh, local? Uh, no, it's yeah. nationwide. Oh. National. But they're, uh, you know... A vibrant community of independent filmmakers. There you go. We connect and collaborate to get films made and seen. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. And let's see. Did you hear that... Um, um, a Quiet Place 2 is going to start filming in June here. No! Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, now they're going to have, like, to manage the crowds. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they want to use the place. bridge again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I love that movie. It was... 
I didn't buy the whole thing about the aliens. <laughs> so, no. I said, couldn't you just turn on a uh, chainsaw and they would run right into it? <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Well, well, They're going to cool, start then. filming like that soon? What's that? Like in this month? Yeah, it, yeah. yeah they're gonna, but they have a different slots uh, according, according to the town. Yeah. How um, cool is that? Depending upon weather and stuff. How cool is that? Um, any other business? Questions, queries, comments, complaints? No. All right. Well, our next you meeting. Want to email me the, you know, the articles of. You can have that. I've got it on my computer. Have a have a read through it. If there's anything you want to change, please just throw me a throw me a text or whatever. Um, our next meeting, then, let me uh, dive into oh, this because yeah. this is getting perilously close to July fourth. Let's have a look when that would be. July. Well, July fourth is the middle of the week, so. Well, July first actually would be when our meeting is set for. I think. Yes. Does that still work for everybody? July 1st? That works for me. Good for you? Um, let me just check here. Uh, I might have to get back to you. But I just all right, all right. Well, my son's coming from Thailand. I think either June 30th or July 1st. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a crapshoot as to what week I will be gone at this moment. So, uh, all right. You know, well, let's, let's leave it well, where it is five right now. Five weeks in July. Mm -hmm. So if we needed to move it back move it somewhere, we wouldn't be having back-to-back -back meetings. Okay, meeting adjourned? <laughs> yeah, we'll leave July 1st as the date yes. for now, but if, if you, you do know you're